All right, good morning. Welcome to your final exam for semester one. Because I'm a nice guy, I've, I'm creating this tutorial for you. This is going to help you with uh, cr completing your final exam, in particular, part one of your final exam, which means which uh, asks you to map out the three ICE hotels that you've chosen to study for this project. Um, so to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going I'm to exit this. I want you to know that I've already made a list of top ICE hotels that I'm interested in. You should do some research and find at least three ICE hotels that you want to use for this project. Once you have your ICE hotels, go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And go ahead, let's sign in. And let's go ahead and let's just go to Google Maps. So you can tell you're signed in here. Here's my login right there. And the first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and I'm going to start a new map. So I notice I clicked right here, up here in the toolbar, the menu bar. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to my maps. Now for me and for you, um, you probably have no maps here. So you're going to go down and you're going to click where it says create map. All right? It's as easy as that. Now we're ready to get started. The first thing we should do is we should give our map a name. I'm going to call this Ice Hotel Adventure. I encourage you to come up with your own name. And I also encourage you to come up with like a description. So my description is going to be um, the most incredible ice hotels in the world I'd like to visit. All right, and I'm going to hit save. And you know, a lot of people go and they visit ice hotels to see uh, the Northern Lights. And so if you haven't heard of the Northern Lights before, um, then like this gives you an idea of like these amazing uh, sort of colors that you could have the opportunity to see if you head up north. Um, and if you find a place that doesn't have a whole lot of daylight hours during the winter, you might be lucky enough to see something like this someday. So anyways, so in addition to going and seeing those northern lights, people like the idea of staying in what is called an ice hotel. So the first ice hotel I'm going to look up is this one. It's the Lino Snow Village. It's in Finland. Now to locate that, all I have to do is go up to my search bar, type in Lino Snow, Snow Village, and you can see it found it for me, right? So I click there, and it's going to go ahead and drop a pin right where um, where that exists now to set that pin on my map I need to come over here and I need to hit the plus sign that means that I've officially added it okay to my uh, to my map that's a very important step the next thing I want to do is I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna s make my map unique to, to me I'm gonna assign a color and maybe even a shape right and there's lots of shapes that you can set up here that are gonna um, pinpoint that hotel so maybe because it's a hotel I'll put this little bed right there I'll hit OK right and now I'll know that that's where my uh, first ice hotel is now I'm gonna edit this sort of uh, text box it does give the the map and the location but I want to make sure it's clear that it's the, what the name of the snow village is. So I'm going to give it a specific name. And it also asks for me to give it an image. So I can just simply click here on the camera where it says add image or video. Go to the Google image search. right? Type in the name of the snow village and hit search. All of these images are going to come up that represent that ice hotel. Okay, let's do uh, well. Let's do a picture of the bed in this one. So this one's kind of neat, right? Because the bed is sculpted of ice in a room that's entirely made of snow. That's pretty amazing when you think about it. That the whole room is made of snow, and the bed is sculpted out of solid ice. The last step 
right, as it, as it states in the directions, is to list three amenities of this hotel. So again, the next thing I might do really quickly is I'll go to, um, I'll go to that hotel on Google, I'll open up a new tab, and I'm gonna look up like a few of the amenities that they have. So again, you wanna, you're gonna need to do a little bit of reading here, okay? And what I found is that they offer a buffet breakfast in the Warm Log restaurant. And remember, you might wanna just hit save in between each one. You'll have to go back to the edit button, but if you don't save, then it has the, uh, it could, it could delete your information on you. So that's one thing that's interesting to me. Um, I also think it's interesting that uh, the rooms are made entirely of snow. So again, here I'm gonna say, let's actually do this. Buffet breakfast in the warm log restaurant. Rooms are skillfully, let's say, I don't need all that. Rooms are made completely of snow, right? And have a bed frame made of ice. So again, I just kind of consolidated that. And then I need one more thing because it says three amenities. Um, I'm going to say that you get high quality thermal sleeping bags, right? And that must be a nice feature because it is cold. If it's a room made of snow and the snow doesn't melt and the ice bed doesn't melt, it's got to be pretty cold, okay? So there we are. So once I'm happy with my three amenities, I hit save. And there I have it, okay? I'm gonna give this layer a name. This is gonna be my ice hotels. Hit save. And then I'll be ready to add my next, my next ice hotel, okay? All right, so I'm ready to add my next hotel. Um, I'm gonna make it this Balea Lake ice hotel in Romania. So I'm gonna go back to my map. All I have to do is I'm going to just paste the name of that hotel into my into my maps and hit search. It's then going to find that map or find that location, and I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to add it by hitting that plus sign, and I'm going to go down. I'm going to use the same icon, right, so that it's clear these are my hotels. And I've also it's already automatically set it to the color because I set it because it was previously set. Okay. So now that that's done, right, again, I'm giving it the name that I wanted to, to show, and then I need to include an image and three amenities. So this time, let's just go ahead and add the amenities first. Um, I thought that it was interesting that um, they offer us a mattress that's kind of nice compared to the last one that we looked at, right? The last one, um, you only got a sleeping bag. So they offer you a soft mattress covered with sheets, blankets, and fluffy animal fur. I also thought that this was kind of cool. If they, in the ice restaurant, tables are made from a block of ice. So again, I'm gonna just say tables in the restaurant are made from a block of ice. And lastly, I thought it was interesting that any drinks that are served at their, at their bar, right? It says cocktails are not served in ordinary glasses, but in glasses carved of ice. So that's pretty amazing that they take ice. Um, so let's just say drinks are served in glasses carved of ice. All right, so it's pretty neat. I wanna make sure I save it really quickly so those things stick, right? And I might even make a couple of edits here. I might just make each of the, each of these capital so that it's really clear where the next amenity starts. Hit save again. 
and then let's add an image. So we're gonna click on add image or video. We need to update this, oops. So we got a Balea Lake Ice Hotel. Um, and then here's some pictures of it, of this one. Let's see. Um, I guess we'll want another, well here, this one looks kinda cool. And hit select. And that is pretty awesome. That Those are like rooms that they construct of ice blocks, right? You can see the ice blocks that they build up there to create these rooms. So again, I'm gonna hit save and there it is. So now, right, I've got two, two different locations on my map. There's Romania, so much further south, right, than this uh, other snow village that I put in Finland, right? This one's probably more for the experience of the ice hotel. This one, you're not only getting the ice hotel, but you might have an opportunity to see the Northern Lights. All right, so we'll be back in one second and we'll do the third ice hotel. All right, so for our final ice hotel, I've chosen to do the Kaslatin Igloo Village in Finland. And so this gives you an idea of what that one looks like. This one, I think I saved the best for last. It's made of, the resort is made of glass igloos up in the Arctic. So to find, to map that hotel, again, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste the name of the hotel. There it is. I'm gonna click on it. It's gonna drop a pin. I'm gonna add it to my map by hitting the plus sign. And then just like last time, I'm gonna change it so that it represents my other icons, make it the same. So there it is, my little bed, little yellow bed. Okay, once I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and add an image, right? So I'm gonna go to Google Image Search, type in the name of the resort. And I mean, this is just too cool to pass up. There's like an example. But what's neat about this is, uh, you know, in some of those ice hotels, if the northern lights are showing one night, you have to get out and check every now and then. In these ones, you have the opportunity to actually see right up into the sky from your bed in your room. So that's kind of a neat thing. Anyways, three um, amenities. So I thought it was pretty neat. It's got a variety of different uh, of igloos, but I'm going to just say that glass igloos got the property. I think that's pretty neat. I also think it's neat, look under the w under winter, look at all of these different things you could do. You could do husky safaris, reindeer safaris, there's all sorts of activities. So I'm gonna say um, variety of winter and summer activities, including, how cool is this, right? A reindeer safari. Um, so I'm gonna, including, reindeer safari and then I need one last thing that should not be hard here um, how about this right when you're up there you can visit Santa's home so that would be pretty awesome for like anybody um, so I'm gonna say visit Santa's home on the property so that stuff's all pretty cool to me and then you hit save. I've got my three amenities. I've got my my map. And there we go. So now if I zoom out, we'll get an idea of where everything is. So we've got these two right up here. I've got this guy down here. They all look good. Okay. And uh there we go. So the last thing that you need to do to complete this assi this portion of your assignment, I guess you're going to do two things. So the first thing is you need to zoom out, right, to a good point where you can see all three of your ice hotels. I'm going to actually zoom in now. And you're going to use your snipping tool. And let's just grab... picture that you'll be able to use on the front cover of your brochure. That's going to be part two. Okay. Make sure you give it a name like Ice Hotel Map. 
and then hit save. And then the second thing you're going to do is you're going to share this with me. So you're going to share this map with me, um, and you're just going to go ahead and uh, copy this link. You have to change where it says private to say on public on the web. That's very important. Hit save. Again, copy this. All right. And then simply, again, copy this and then just send it to me in an email. So again, just go to your mail and compose a new email and make it to crubin at seq.org make it really clear this is my three ice hotel map and then you can just copy it there before you send it you should go down to the bottom you should highlight that address and insert links so that all I have to do is click on it and it will take me directly to that map. Hit send and you're done with part one of your final. Good job.